As he reached for the paper, it slipped to the ground from its plastic wrapper, exposing the front page. Nurse murder unsolved. Neighborhood still shocked. Was the main headline, appearing over a color photo of a compact but comfortable-looking home, surrounded by yellow police tape. Walking painstakingly back through the side entrance to the house, Cullen became so engrossed in the newspaper feature that he almost tripped over the Gwyn cat as she followed him inside. After pouring two cups of coffee, Madeline set the breakfast table with placemats and silver utensils, but this morning chose to omit the linen napkins. She added filled crystal orange juice glasses and put out Wedgwood china cereal bowls. What's all that fascinating? she asked, as her husband continued, carefully into the kitchen while staring down at the daily. Madeline, get this. A nurse who used to work at my office was murdered in her home while we were gone. They think it happened sometime Friday night. Who was she? Taylor Richards. We phased out her job at the office a while back. Didn't have a place for her anymore, but the hospital was short a nurse and needed someone with some experience in maternity care. Wisely, they picked her up. Taylor was one of the best nurses for sure. Shaking his aching head in disgust and sorry that he agreed to her layoff from the center, he sighed. Her death is a real shame. Cullen handed the journal to Madeline, who would be interested in the Midtown Montclair atrocity. Police Chief Chevelle Ag was quoted numerous times in the article as personally investigating the case, although the chief was convinced that the heinous perpetrator would be promptly identified and brought to justice 